Alright, welcome everyone to this very, very special Let's Play. I'm extremely excited today. I am beyond excited because I am going to demonstrate to you today one of the best games. This is Game of the Year 2015, okay? You're looking at Emergency Ambulance Simulator 2012. Although this was released in 2012, uh, due to the patches and the updates and so forth, this will only be current in 2015 because it's way ahead of its time and it will be Game of the Year 2015. This is awesome. Uh, first off, before I get started, I have to compliment uh, the software for actually supporting Stereo 3D so it works with uh, Tri-Def Ignition. And uh, here's the awesome part, okay? The engine is so cutting edge and advanced uh, that uh, if you tweak the thing, you know, uh, do normal things like turn the shadows and the anti-aliasing off, you get an astounding over 15 frames per second. Right now I'm running at 17, 16. I'm, I actually, the game is so strong, powerful, and ahead of its time that I had to downscale to 720p. I could actually only get about a fantastic 12 frames per second at 1080p. So it was so fantastic that I had to scale back to 720p. I mean, this game is just awesomeness concentrated into a ball, ball of pure awesomeness energy, I guess. Now I'm totally going cold into this. The only thing I know of this game is by reviews and playthroughs. Um, and uh, I'm actually gonna make a uh, reference later on to where I uh, learned of this game. But right now I'm going in cold. I've never uh, played this title before. I, j I just know that it's cutting edge awesomeness. And here we go. Welcome to the emergency ambulance simulator in the story. W is the keys to move around and look around, just use the mouse con respond, and if you're in a hurry, you can press and hold down the shift key to move faster. Now, I think that already off the bat, because uh, I was checking the control options, and this game is so awesome that, what the hell, oh no, I got, I believe I have to make it to the church now. A man has collapsed during church service. He is responsive and located at the church. All right, so uh, you go to the because you know I'm pressing shift right now because I'm in a hurry and I feel totally like I'm running I, I like how it gives you the feeling that you're anticipating every footstep so everything looks like it's happening in slow motion but I'm actually running right now this is awesome this is such a cool way to reproduce the speed oh look there's a dead body over there I'm gonna go look at the dead body which I think is still alive I mean, wow, the, the, the realism. Now let's see how the AIs are. Patients have to treat them. The injuries of the patient are shown by clicking the corresponding symbol of Windows open in which corresponding treatment is highlighted. Click to begin the treatment. Let's treat this guy. Well, what do I have to do? This? Hello, how are you feeling? Don't get up and stay calm. Hello, everything is okay now. I'm suddenly dizzy. My throat is very dry. So now I had I guess I have to drag or click this thingy here. Uh bleeding has stopped. <laughs> Splint the fracture. Let's uh, just go ahead and check the vital sign here. A different treatment would be better in this case. Okay, okay. Administer medic administer fluids. Ooh, look at that. That was that was, okay, that's the game of the year, people. Game of the year. Game of the year. Yeah, I like the animation. Look how realistic this is. I, the characters teleport. I could swear the lady on the left just teleported. That's awesome. Did you see that? What a realistic body loading scene. Now you must take your patient to the hospital. Check whether you, the flashing blue light or not. This is displayed by your speedometer. Whatever, dude. I am using the light. I don't care what you guys say. I'm. Oh, look. did you see that mad cornering? Watch, watch, watch. Oh, watch, watch. I'm gonna finish the turn. Holy shit! Oh, that was awesome. That is some mad driving. Oh, oh! Woo! Holy shit! Whoa, man. The moments you get in this state-of-the-art software 
I mean, take that Battlefield 4, T take that iRacing, take that everybody who's ever made a game before, Game of the Year 2015. Look, I can actually communicate with a, a, a signpost, which I think is awesome, and the, 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 the game's so challenging, we're gonna be like repeatedly getting lost with this awesome 14 constant people. I'm not saying like a spike at 14 frames per second. No, 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 no. Constant 14 frames per second, people, with some spikes over 20. Look at these mad moves. I have some crazy skill. I mean, the way the way the, the, the cars realistically bounce off each other I, I, I mean, you know, real life is being represented on the monitor you are playing back this video on. This is awesome. This is just the best technology. So they say left turn, I'm taking a left turn. Can I get through these bushes? Check it out. Mad 4x4 capabilities. There, th This is all in this game. I didn't pay any extra money to get all these awesome additions check it out i parked the vehicle and i gotta write a report what what you know you can climb the skylines of bioshock infinite slide them around you can get into a realistic gun battle in uh i don't know where the fuck it is now iran or some shit or china and battlefield 4 you can you can race at spa franc or in in iRacing but you cannot write reports. This only exists in Ambulance Simulator. Damn it, how the hell do I open the door? See, Ambulance Simulator is so realistic that when there's a closed door, just like in normal life, forget it. You can't open it. That's exactly how it is in real life. I have that problem all the time. Look, you see, this is how it works. When you leave, you make sure, check it out. Check it, check it out. This is so realistic. What? You're walking on the street and you see that, you know you've left it safe. You know you've left it safe as possible. Door open, computer exposed. Nobody will come and steal the computer. So I guess I have to write the report from here while the real. You have Elizabeth in Bioshock uh, Infinite. Uh, you have that crazy doctor in Doom 3. You have all these crazy AI uh, NPC characters, but you do not have the gray-haired whatever, I'm not too sure what this is, uh, model that is waiting next to everybody in the game, except if you're playing Ambulance Simulator 2012. This is so state-of-the-art. Hello, we're from the ambulance service. Don't worry, we'll immediately treat your injuries. Just look how much is bleeding. I have to throw away my clothes now. All right, let's get let's get the bleeding to stop. Bleeding has stopped. Oh, look at that! Check that out. I saved somebody. Oh wow! And uh, the 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 game now to show its realism to the maximum of its ability has gone up to 48 frames per second. What? That, oh, did you see the realism? Again, they're seen to enter a body into the ambulance actually causes the ambulance to prop up above the, the, the stretcher, which always happens in real life, right? They come to push the stretcher into the ambulance. Instead of entering the ambulance, the ambulance will prop up above the stretcher and bounce back onto it and break both patient's legs. So now my patient had bleeding problems but it's gone away because i'm a hero and instead he's got two broken legs so what a day for him i mean i'm sure he's like having a ball right now see how the the also to make the game more challenging the rules change sort of as you can actually go over the curb one way but not the other just like in real life it's that realistic like now i'm trying to use the stairs like you know when you get home and you can't park somewhere so you start obviously using the staircase to help your car 
prop up against. Now I'm stuck here. I'm actually going to have to uh, get out of here. Ladies and gentlemen, this game is challenging. Look, I I actually tried really hard and, and I had this, this pretty smart shortcut. But like all good games, I got stuck somewhere I couldn't get out of. Uh, because you could go over the curb one way. Although it was of an identical height on the other side, you couldn't go through that way. So I got, I got stuck behind a, a uh, six-inch curb. <coughs> That's awesome. The realism... The, 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 it, what really stuns me so far in, in, in terms of quality is the graphics engine. It is state of the art, ripping out those, wow, right now I added a few cars because I wanted, you know, a bit of a, of a more lively atmosphere. So it's still capable, despite the maximum number of cars on the road, it's still capable of providing me a realistic 10 frames per second. Steady, I'm not kidding people. I'm not saying like it's it's five and sometimes it's 10. No, 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 no. A steady 10 frames per second. Unbelievable. Now apparently I'm not allowed to use the light. So th th this, is, this is the realistic part is that as an ambulance who's in a hurry, you're not allowed to use your siren to go get a patient that needs emergency care. Oh wow, look at that. Check out the scenery. It's super realistic. I mean, these guys were really, really hard on these games. I hear that every game is fully custom built. I mean, there's no reusing an engine for one game to make another. Never in these guys' case. And have you ever in real life seen that effect where, where the car runs into the bushes and the bushes act like a wall upon the car? I mean, the car just can't go through. This is so realistic, real life, cutting edge, photo real graphics, photo real frame rate. I mean, by parts people, I'm not with you right now. I believe, I honestly believe by every fiber of my body is actually driving an ambulance. Oh, mad skills, mad skills. Oh, check it out, check it out. We're gonna go talk to this lady here because she is the star of the game. Check it out, she's there again. She is the Elizabeth of Emergency Ambulance Simulator. And check it out, we're gonna meet now, we're gonna see the realism. Oh, that's realistic. That's realistic, check it out. Let's see, let's see if I can, did I pick her up? That's cool. Oh no, check it out. The soda, oh my god! Is she gonna Superman my ambulance? Uh, she's stuck in it as we can see. Oh my god, oh! She Superman my ambulance! No way, we gotta see that. Check it out. Superhuman powers? You think you're like playing a Superman game or a fucking Batman game or some shit where you know you got these crazy ass superheroes? No fucking way. Emergency ambulance simulator. That's the shit. That's the bomb shit. I like how, just like in real life, she minds her own business, just keeps walking, no matter what. I mean, that's really awesome. That is some really awesome, look at that! Holy shit, this woman is so, like, wow! You are a star, lady, you are a total star. She is awesome. I want, like, why isn't she in more games? I mean, they should make a series based on this character. I always am there when there's someone that's hurt. Uh, I, uh, I'm always leaning over the body with a concerned expression. I'm, oh, look at that! Oh, look at that! She caused an accident! See, why am I getting the penalty if she just caused me an accident? I mean, with her super strength, she managed to get my ambulance out of the way. I mean, check this out! Check this out! She is strong as shit! I mean, she just raced me right there. What? I mean, this what? I am trying really hard, and she's like, no, nah, fuck you, yo. Yo, 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 who's boss here? Titanium citizens. Awesome. Awesome. I have uh, the chopper cam on now, so can I make it using reverse only? 
and only this view. There should be achievements of the sort. I mean, this engine is extremely capable. I mean, now with this view, I'm also optimizing things and getting an astounding 19 frames. Wow, we're at a new high here. I mean, I saw 48 earlier on, but that, that was while I was outside the ambulance. I guess the, these are modes where the graphic engine becomes far more capable. Uh, but this graphics engine is simply so capable. I mean, what? Now here's a little thing I didn't notice of uh, why this game is already so awesome. The performance is beyond anything I've ever run on my computer before. Um, on uh, October 21, 2012, they released an update as it says, the patch release. And uh, the first patch for Ambulance Simulator 2011 has been released. Remember, this is Emergency Ambulance Simulator 2012. No fucking around here. No fucking around. So, we recommend to download the patch from Nanana. -na -na. It contains many improvements to stability and performance of the game of the game. So that is already a sign that the awesomeness is concentrated into a ball of awesomeness energy in this game. And, and I'll repeat it. It's, I'm not just rating this as a game, but as a software as well. This is just awesome. Emergency Ambulance Simulators Elizabeth. That is awesome. Let's. Uh, I. I need to interact with more uh, awesome AI. Like right, check. Check it out. Check it out. Check out how she teleports a little bit, swaying left and right. That is just awesome. Oh, look at that! Vile. Holy shit! Holy shit! Where? I picked her up. I picked her up. Check it out. I picked her up. That is awesome. That is. I cannot believe the the sophisticated aspects of this game. I actually picked her up. Look, I'm making him drift, which is hyper-realistic. You'll see it often in drift competitions. An ambulance is going to come up and ram one of the competitors in the back to give him a hand at uh, lining up with, uh, with the road uh, by, by providing an extra drift. Check it out. We're mutually drifting right now. Which, uh, if you don't know how to do this, I recommend you take your car out and practice this often. It's a, it's a very real life technique. I mean, this simulator is reproducing every aspect I know right now of real life. Now, I don't know about the specifics of driving an ambulance, but I mean, I would imagine that if it's so realistic with the real life elements that I'm familiar with, then it's, it's, it's just as realistic for the ambulance uh, drivers. Oh, check out the mad corner. Check out the mad corner. Oh! Oh, oh shit! And I love how the five frames per second allowed me to anticipate what was happening in the turn. You know, the game figure tends a little too much for this guy. We're gonna go down to five frames per second so that he can see what is... Oh, check it out! Check it out! That's what I call cleaning out traffic. Look at that! Have you ever seen cars falling in love? This is what it looks like. This is exactly what it looks like. I remember all the time in real life seeing cars falling in love like this. Like, just, this is just awesome. So realistic. I mean, so absolutely, divinely realistic. I mean, look at all the control the AI is trying to, to perform here while, you know, digging into the ground. Th this is just awesome. Check it out. Cleaning the road. Mutually drifting. Oh! Look at that! And because I can keep my head centered, I can just keep controlling as I take the two-wheel drift. Coming into the turn. You gotta look at your braking, too. Make sure you properly brake. And that you use the flower pot for your apex. <laughs> Sorry if I can't quite... <laughs> keep a straight face through all of this okay because I'll be honest for a second here this thing is a piece of trash to the point where I was looking at playthroughs and uh, I had to, I had to get it I, I actually downloaded this piece of garbage installed it because I couldn't believe what I was seeing believe it or not I actually bought it I mean I'm, I'm not gonna fucking hack the game and then go do a video of it 
would provide some support to these shit-ass developers. This is a fucking piece of garbage. I have never experienced such bad fucking driving controls. The frame rate hasn't stuck above 20 since I fucking started this piece of garbage. This is the utmost piece of trash I've ever seen. So, uh, this is my first 3D WTF Let's Play. And, um, yeah, I'm sure a lot of you know this title, and it's known to be a pile of trash. And I just wanted to say at the end, I mean, I've been, been very enthusiastic about this title, the uh, whole video. Uh, please don't accidentally believe that I am um, being genuine. I was being sarcastic the whole time. And some of you are going, Duh. But hey, you know what? What if I lead someone to buy this piece of trash, okay? Do, do not buy this game. Uh, this is in no way an endorsement. Rather, showing you how bad this is. Oh god, this is so bad. I mean, it's... I, I, I really actually totally absolutely have no words for it. This is actually worse than I thought it would be. I've watched several videos of this, but this is actually worse than I thought it would be. Uh, this, this, I mean, wow. I can only imagine the person who was actually enthusiastic bought this game and started playing it and went, oh, fuck. Yeah, this is... Well, you know, I, I haven't played enough bad games in the, in the last three years since I came back to gaming because of uh, Stereoscopic 3D. But yeah, this is the worst game I've played since I came back to gaming. Right here, this is it. Not a piece of shit. Alright, hope you enjoyed this 3D WTF LP. I'm gonna make more of them if I find uh, stuff that's worth laughing at like this. Uh, it was my pleasure to do this one. Uh, the, the, this is really such a terrible piece of garbage. Look, it's at 10 frames per fucking second. There's nothing on the fucking screen. World of Tanks has graphics that are better than this. And I mean, it's an old engine, Big World. There, the engine they're using, the distribution of Big World. I mean, it's relatively old. The, the graphics are getting dated. Yet they're about 50 times better than this. I mean, and, and obviously Battlefield... Battlefield 2 is more photoreal than this. This is, this is a pile of crap. Some N64 games are photoreal compared to this. Really, I mean, I, I'm blown away. I don't, I don't believe it. Yeah, I, I need to be honest at the end about this, just in case someone got the wrong impression. I know you see it on the screen, but just in case my voice was misleading you to think anything good at this. No, 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 no. This is bad. I, I love the car sex, though. I, I mean... But by all means, please don't buy this title. Just rewatch my video. If you enjoyed seeing the car sex, just enjoy this video. Do not purchase this title. Thank you very much, and thanks for watching.